to the new dashboards in DHIS2 version 2.29. In this video, we walk through how to find and view dashboards. At the top of the page, you will see the dashboard bar, which contains the list of available dashboards. Previously, if you had many dashboards, organizing and finding all of your dashboards was difficult. Now you can click the Show More button to expand the bar to see all of your dashboards. You can click the Show Less button to collapse the bar. You can customize the height of the dashboard bar for yourself by clicking along the bottom edge and dragging to the desired height. To search for a specific dashboard, use the search field in the dashboard bar. We will search for immunization dashboard. When the immunization dashboard appears, you can select it. The immunization dashboard is now displayed, including title and all of its dashboard items. Dashboard items include charts, maps, and tables. In addition, there are text items and items containing your messages. Starring. In previous versions, it was not possible to select a dashboard as a favorite. You can now star your favorite dashboards by clicking on the star next to the dashboard title. Let's star the immunization dashboard. Starred dashboards are shown first in the dashboard list in the dashboard bar for easier access. Description. The typical use of dashboards is to have standard or shared dashboards for many users. In order for dashboard designers to communicate information about the dashboard, 2.29 has a description field. To view the description in the dashboard, click on the information button next to the dashboard title. Switching between analytics types. To better enable data interrogation, it is important for users to be able to easily view data from different perspectives. Users can now quickly switch between tables, charts, and maps in the dashboard items. Let's view the pivot table view by clicking on the pivot table button. We can sort some columns by clicking on the column header. We will now move on to the chart view by clicking on the chart button. Notice that a bar chart has been used in this case. When the original items were saved as a map or pivot table, then the default chart view shows as a bar chart. Back in the maps view, you will see the legend button. Hovering over this displays the map legend. Here we see the custom made legend. Custom made legends are applied to both map and pivot table views. Notice that as we move to pivot tables, the legend colors now display on the pivot tables, creating a simple scorecard. Scrolling down, we find another map that uses the default legend. Default legends for maps are an equal count scale with a light to dark down gradient. Interpretations. As DHIS2 is taken to scale, it becomes increasingly useful for users to create dialogue around analytics on their shared dashboards. To better enable this, we have improved interpretations within the dashboard. Let's take a look at the interpretations on the item named Immunization, BCG, Measles, Yellow Fever, last 12 months by clicking on the Interpretations button. This expands the item downwards to show the description and interpretations for this visualization. Scrolling down to the interpretations, we'll see that within each interpretation, you can do several actions. This includes replying, liking, deleting, if you have access, and viewing in Visualizer. Clicking on View in Visualizer will take you to the chart as it was when that interpretation was made. To get back to the dashboard, click on the Home button. Let's reopen the interpretations for that item and add a reply. To 
To like an interpretation, click on the like button. Liking increases an interpretation's ranking in the Interpretations app. If given the proper user authorities, you can also delete an interpretation. After scrolling through the existing interpretations, you can, of course, add your own interpretation. Filtering. It is possible to apply an org unit filter to the dashboard items. Before we apply this filter, please take a look at the data in the chart named Immunization OPV3 Coverage. Note that the coverage is about 80% for Sierra Leone. To add the filter, click on the Filter button. The org unit filter dialog will display and you can select one or more org units to apply. Now we will click on Kono to apply the filter. Now, the chart that we were previously looking at shows 37% coverage for Kono. Note that filtering by org unit only applies to dashboard items with org set units set to user org unit. Next to the title is a banner showing that a filter has been applied. Sharing. If you have access to share the dashboard, you will see a share button next to the title. Click on the share button to open the sharing dialog. The dialog shows which user groups have access to this dashboard. Near the bottom, you can select the user or group you wish to give access to. You can give either view or edit rights. This ends the introduction to the new dashboard. Thank you for your time. Please feel free to communicate any thoughts, questions, or concerns regarding the new dashboard to Scott, the DHIS2 Analytics Project Manager, at scott at dhis2.org.